Let's try to keep this one short, sweet, and concise. Please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell of dawn to the Ghost of 13 Month series. It's engaged when you can stay notified. Now, listen to me. Don't do the thing where you just want to spout your opinion and you're not listening to what I'm saying. If you disagree, you disagree. But sometimes you guys are just not hearing me at all. Urek Mazino is one of my favorite characters in Tower of God, one of my favorite webtoons. When it comes to all the irregulars, Gustang, Traumare, Jihad, Enry, whatever, that is my guy, the self-proclaimed champion of the tower. I even have a video on him. It's one of my most popular videos. Go watch it if you haven't seen it, okay? He is just, he's one of the strongest. I think he could take Jihad. Maybe not Enry, <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but I think he could take Jihad. He is him. He's Himothy. He is cold. He has, he has one of the best feats in the series with the 10% physical, non blood lusted punch. Okay? All right. I still think a lot of you guys are underestimating Lucille. I still believe right now there is like four to six characters that are born inside the tower. They're in tower habitants that have amassed enough power, whether it's through cheating, spells, training whatever the case may be, that they can challenge a family head. They can challenge the absolute pinnacle of the tower, the people who are the strongest. And I believe Lou Slack falls into that category. And I think there's a lot of variables people are not considering when it comes to this man. Now, I want to make something clear. When he flared his Shinsu against Urek, I admit it's possible that was an emotional reaction. Think about it like this. You've worked your entire life or at least a portion of your life has been dedicated to becoming the CEO or senior manager or something at your company. And somebody who's not in your company comes and tells you no. And you're like, why not? No, not yet. You can't do it yet. And just that would probably piss you off because you're like, I'm working. This is my goal. This is the, the reason I wake up every single day and get out of bed. And you're just telling me no, no good reason. Fuck that. So Loose Black could have been like, oh no, you saying a family head can't die today? Fuck that, they dying. Or I'm dying, or I'm gonna die trying. I'm not discounting that. But he's climbed with the regulars. V, Arlene, the 13 great warriors, which they fall in the category with, Jaha, Traumary, all those people, right? He, wants ba he wanted Bam for a reason. He knows what Bam will be capable of doing. And I think because he has trained and climbed with the regulars, he's going to be built different the same way I believe the people who are traveling with the BAM by the end of the series will be built different. I'm thinking of something as simple as White's power being divvied between Aguero, Rack, and BAM because BAM took White out and then they got a portion of his power. What if a lot of those things happened you know, as a trickle down effect because Loose Leg is basically getting like the scraps of extra bits of power, knowledge, technique, and abilities that these people were getting as they were going up the tower. The Black Hook, the Great Black Hook might go crazy, bro. I do not think he can beat Urek. I do not think that's the case. But as you guys like to say, I think it's a high mid diff at best. Like, or mid-diff at best. Like, Urek can't just sneeze or fart and loose like it's like, I'm dead. He has to try. He can't not take him seriously. Is a point I'm trying, it's a point that I'm trying to instill into you guys who are just like, nah, nah, nah. He doesn't have a chance under any circumstance. Again, if someone's like, nah, you bet your life on loose like, no. I'm betting, I'm betting on Urek Mazino. And that's my guy. I don't think he'd react like that if he didn't have the power or capability to do something, defend himself, tire out your Urek, teleport him somewhere, keep him busy while maybe Bam and the three water dragons or something figure out a way to take out a, a family head or trauma ray, if, if you will. Like, that's all I'm saying. I don't want to ramble any longer than I need to because in my latest stream, I talked about it pretty much ad nauseum, but I wanted it to be in a more concise form here on the channel. Let me know what you guys think. Again, it's Urek season, but I do think a lot of you guys are underestimating Loose Leg. You're not giving him enough credit. He is the leader of FUG, man. And he stands on business. <laughs> He's a stepper. And I don't think he would do that if he, st he didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell. That's, that's my opinion. If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. Shout out to the Patreon gang. I appreciate the continued support.
Shout out to the certified BAM lovers, CBL Nation, CBL Gang, it is what it is. But also shout out to the Priest of Fire. We you know that's Brilith Gang. Could they be the real CBLs? I think they just might be. But a huge big shout out to the fifth Zen gods. Shout out to Zalish Scotty, Zodiac Nemico, Zachary Cooper, Tino Brown, Ticos, Simi, Scobe, Revenant, Naz Riley, Markov, Lucky Roo, Lazy Dragon, Johnny Rogers, Huey, Triss, Childish Nujabis, Andrew, Big Allen, and Big Abdel. Your support is appreciated. Yo, I slept in a bed the other day. Yo, I can afford a bed now. You guys are out here saving my life.